Pringle Man, okay. Oh, is he playing the decklist I played um, beforehand? He could be. He could be playing Daedalus Control. Mythic Depths, yep. We have Double Dream Clown and the Hain Hain. Not bad. The problem about this deck, well, it's 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 the idea of this deck, it's, which is also the problem. This deck is a control deck, so it's um, naturally very slow. All right, uh, Mr. Opponent. Sets one, that's fine. What else? Set some monster, okay. Um, I think I won't summon Dream Clown yet. I'll start with Hain Hain. Uh, maybe not. Wait. I'll, su I'll just summon an attack and swing. See how it goes. I know he got big wave in hand. What is that? Ah, oh, shit. That's a fat one. Um, the new event says only specific cards from the Duel Monster era and only characters and skills from that era. Other than that, it's not allowed. Okay, he's gonna tribute summon Daedalus. Daedalus is fine. Let's see if he's going to commit his Umi. Because Umi is going to destroy his back row as well. No, he moves to the battle phase. Okay. I will activate my Windstorm of Itakwa. I draw. Okay, the Clown Control is starting. Switch the defense. Activate Pop the Daedalus. We can now summon Dream Clown number two. And start poking. Set a card and start poking. Swing. If there is a skill that gives us an extra normal summon, that would be nice. I gotta check the skills. I haven't checked them yet. Because right now we're not playing a skill. Alright, 12 goes in. We get a pass turn. Clown control, let's go, baby. Hello Life is gonna protect our clowns. No destruction for my opponent. Summons an attack, yeah, that's fine. Goes to the battle phase. He's gonna swing. I am going to activate my Hallow Life, sending Hain Hain to the grave. Okay. I draw. Another Crass Clown. We needed more back row, though. I'll switch this to defense to pop his card. Let's get it. We pop in again. I think this is Econ. That's why he's thinking about it a lot. Okay, we have the clown on the field. Damn, um, Curse of Anubis would be awesome, dude, in this um, format. For for this deck specifically. Windstorm of Itakwa, okay. Alright, let's swing for 12. Fast turn. Daedalus would actually suck for us right now. <laughs> Daedalus is, would actually suck for us, chat. We, we don't want to see Daedalus here. We don't want to see a board wipe. We have full control. Next turn, we can pop a card and bounce a card. Grizzly. Okay, that's fine. That is game. GG's. We win next turn. That's the power of clown control. Draw. 
Switch this to attack. Activate the effect of it to bounce the Mother Grizzly. Switch this to attack. <clears throat> Normal summon this. That is way more than lethal. Set a card and swing. GG Nori. 1350 in. 1350. Four game, baby. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Again, just like the previous video, there is no edits. We're just going to go ahead and show the deck list and talk about the deck profile right away. As we are recording all in one footage. Okay, here's the deck list we've played. This is Clown Control. The main engine of it, of course, is the clowns. The Crass Clown and the Dream Clown. I added the Hain Hain because it's a flip monster um, that um, trades one for one, basically. Um, you could really choose any other flip uh, monster um, available in this event. Maybe you could play... You can get spicy with, I don't know, DD Warrior Lady to get rid of from um, problematic cards. You can maybe Sangon or Witch of the Black Forest. I don't know. It doesn't matter. The way I played it is 3 Crass Clown, 3 Dream Clown, 3 Hain Hain, 1 Monster Reborn, 1 Earthquake, which will change all face-up monsters on the field to defense position, so it triggers our effects. Um, 1 Call of the Haunted to Reborn. Of course, Monster Reborn and Call of the Hunt is two, two copies of Reborn cards. Uh, three Hollow Life to protect our monsters on the field. All of the monsters we have are low with low stats. 1350 attack is the biggest of them. So Hollow Life protects them from destruction and attack. Um, other than the fact that it protects the life points, of course. Um, we play one secur uh, two security orbs, um, which change the battle position of the... Um, of the attacking monster and also if it gets destroyed by opponent card effect you get to destroy uh, one monster on the opponent's side of the field so it's a really nice card in this format and finally of course windstorm of Itaqua. if um if there is a situation where the opponent has more monsters and he's about to board like you one storm of Itaqua is going to protect every single one of your monsters most probably um for the skill however we i, I did not put a skill on this deck list yet so it's really up to you boys on YouTube to come up with a good skill that goes along with this deck. The deck works without a skill, so find a good skill and make it even better. Let's go for the next video.